again, this is the uh, transmission range sensor, uh, otherwise known as the neutral safety switch. You know, pretty much tells uh, you know the computer, the engine, or whatever where the shifter is. Is it in neutral? Is it in drive? Is it in drive two? So part of our problem was, or still is, that sometimes, um, you know, this thing will just, like it comes out of gear, goes into neutral, and it just revs up and, you know, we have to take our foot off the gas, let it calm down and catch back into gear, um, which could be a sign from what I've read or people I've chatted with that you know, the neutral safety switch or the trans range sensor is gone or out of adjustment. So I picked one up relatively cheap. Uh, you know, I think it was like, I don't know, whatever it was. It wasn't a lot of money. And it looks like it's pretty easy to change. Uh, you get one bolt here, bolt here, and one here. And then you pull the plug on the sensor up here. And that would be it. So we're going to do that today. Tomorrow we're going to get into here. The uh, transmission, we're going to change the fluid and put a new filter in and hope that between the, the filter and fluid change and the change of the sensor, I'm hoping, or we're both hoping that it takes care of our transmission issue. Um, which we don't really believe is a actual transmission issue. Uh, we've had it into Ford when we were in Oklahoma and it's not leaking, it's not burning, and it's maintaining its fluid levels. No external indications that there was a transmission problem. So we're going to give these things a try and uh, we'll see if we can figure it out from there. So I'm going to see what I need to take this off. I'll go ahead and take it off and replace it and we'll check back in. A painstaking hour or so. I had to make one run home to get the repair manual. So the hardest part is getting the uh, the linkage off of the you know the gear linkage here. This is this goes right up to the the shifter on the you know the, uh, the steering column. So this needs to come off here, which is just you know supposed to pop right off, but you can't really do it with your hands. I used my tire, uh, my rim. You know for taking the wheel covers off I just needed a little leverage to help me wiggle it and it finally came off like an hour later and uh, I let this this was pretty real rusted up so I, I, I soaked that with a liquid wrench for the last hour or so while I tried to get the stupid linkage arm off so now that I got everything kind of loosened up just gonna take these two two bolts off and then the big one in the middle off and then uh, should be able to pop the other one on and hopefully there's no problem put, putting that back on okay so I'm in the middle of replacing the transmission range sensor this is the old one here as you can see it's probably original 1994 it's all dirty and gunked and greased up I got a new one here looks pretty good nice and shiny so that's going to go back on this this little piece here goes through here and there's a bolt that goes into the transmission this is how you change the gears your uh, gear shift on the column connects to here so then it, it just turns and tells uh, the transmission which gear to be in so in theory uh, with part of our problem we've been having and uh, I'll describe that later on this may be too old, going bad, uh, out of alignment, which is maybe causing our transmission to come out of gear. So this is uh, like part one of a two-part fix I'm trying to do. Uh, the part two is tomorrow, which will be changing the transmission fluid filter and gasket on the pan. But for today, we're just swapping out the sensor. And tomorrow, we'll do the other half. And uh, the good test will be when we go camping next weekend for Memorial Day. 
if we run into the uh, transmission problem. So I'm going to get underneath, I'm going to hook this back up with the new one, and uh, tomorrow we'll do the fluid and filter and gasket. We'll see you then. So here it is, almost on. I got the two bolts, I got the sensor plugged back in with the wiring harness. So I just have to put the one linkage connector on here. Like so, put the nut back on that. Connect this back up to the thing and it should be good to go. Here we go. The uh, transmission range sensor is installed now, the new one. So this is the new one here. I just put it on the transmission, secured it with the two bolts on either side. The third one, this actually goes into the transmission. And when you change gears on the steering column, this changes it here in the transmission. Right now that's in neutral. And up here is the, the communications connector. Connects up to the computer or whatever it connects to. I don't really know. I'm sure it's the computer. But uh, hopefully that's going to help solve our problem. Uh, part two of this transmission fix will be tomorrow when we do the transmission fluid filter and gasket. So stay tuned. This is the old transmission range sensor. And from what I've read online uh, and in the forums, um, if it's not aligned properly, it could be causing that issue um, with our transmission where it seems to come out of gear, or like go into neutral uh, and just rev up when you're giving it gas. So and people have said that when they replace the transmission range sensor, which this is, that the problem has gone away. So if you look at this, this is the old sensor. See this little line right here? Okay. This little line on the, the casing should match up with this line here. This is the part that connects to the transmission and, you know, and rotates um, either way, you know, drive, neutral, drive two, reverse. And when it's in neutral, these two lines should be one should be one straight line so when I took this off the first thing I did other than disconnect the battery was I put the engine or the shifter on the, the steering column I put it in neutral so I knew where it was when I put it back on so with that in neutral these lines should have been one continuous line and if you look at it it's not exactly matching up a little ant crawling on me. So this may or may not have contributed to our uh, transmission problem where it seems to come out of gear and like seem that like it's in neutral. So just wanted to do that little quick update. Again, like I said, tomorrow we're going to do the transmission fluid, filter, and gasket. Because uh, another cause could be that it's the wrong filter is in the transmission. So we'll cover that tomorrow, but I just wanted to make a note of that today.